就在喇叭吼祖语的吟唱声中，二零一五年五月十二号，现场所有人都站立。在这个重要的日子，喇叭吼民族的全国领袖正式宣誓就职。就是这一位 Russell B. Gay 当选了二零一五年纳瓦霍全国总领导人。纳瓦霍选委会颁发当选证书，给这位纳瓦霍族的全国领导人，称他为总统。就在这场就职大典中，这位纳瓦吼民族国家的总统 Russell B. Gay 强调要创造经济发展，吸引专业人回流到纳瓦吼地区，也是他未来主要推动的政务。We can make the things that we use on our nation. We can unleash the great talent that we have on our nation. People know how to make things. People are smart on our nation. We can make the things that we use right here on our nation. Keep our money here. Keep our people working on our great nation. 同时要让纳瓦吼族的语言活下去，强调那个会觉得说族语是很可耻的时代已经过去，要拥抱族语。We were told we would not progress. We were told that we would be left behind if we use our language. As a result, at that crossroad years ago, our people did not teach their children the language because we believe at that crossroad that that was true. Today, at this new awakening of the of the new dawn, we will not believe that anymore. We, our language, has great value. Our language has great tradition. It has great teaching. It is powerful. It is who we are as Navajo people. So let's not ever be ashamed of speaking Navajo again. 在就职典礼中，多次强调语言的重要，因为纳瓦吼族语在这一次成为候选人胜出的重要关键。纳瓦霍政府的前身就是在一九二零年代成立的纳瓦霍民族议会，到了一九五零年代转型成自治政府，每四年选一次领导人，得连选连任。根据纳瓦霍选委会的规定，想要当纳瓦霍族的领导人，必须具备十一个条件，除了至少要三十岁以上，要对纳瓦霍国族有深切的认同感，过去五年内不能有过被判刑的记录，不能品性不端，不能有诈欺前科。不诚实或勒索他人的记录，也不能同时担任美国政府的公职。更重要的就是，一定必须要会讲祖语，而且是很流利的祖语。亚德什格罗什的呢 ，D. A. Russell 的格言呢，肯定是听上面阿尼巴什听，他听你阿达什听到阿什阿达什那嘞。是一样，纳瓦霍 nation president A. B. S. 这是今年当选总统的 Russell B. Gay 在选举期间录制的竞选宣传短片，全程以纳瓦霍族语演说。今年另外一位候选人 Joe s e r l i n 更是经常在重要场合吟唱纳瓦霍古调。不过，其实今年纳瓦吼总统的选举，并不是只有这两个人。不论是吟唱祖语，或是说祖语，这是纳瓦吼国族内部自行制定的规定。因为想要当领导人，就一定要会听、会讲、会写祖语。但就在二零一四年出现了争议，有其中一位想要参选的候选人遭人批评，根本不具备这项作为一个纳瓦吼人基本的条件。这样的候选人诉求自己是新时代的候选人。Chris d e s c h i n i 不到四十岁，进入亚利桑那州立大学，取得法学跟工程学的学士学位，是罕见纳巴吼族内部的新秀，在公开场合大多以英语发言。Sending is that we don't want 
our veterans. We don't want our young. We don't want our educated. We don't want those that voted. Auto, we don't want those because of this ticket, women to be a part of our government. Yeah. It's not right. So, so that's what they're saying. Auto, they're saying, hey, Chris, he's not even a Navajo. Jeanette. <laughs> so I respect the Supreme Court, but I don't respect when they don't give a fair and impartial hearing. 年轻的一代失去说流利族语的能力，但是认为为什么不会讲流利的族语，就必须被迫放弃对自己民主的热爱呢 ？We love you too. Yeah. Every one of you, even those who spoke against us. Yeah. Because we were trying to help them too. Yeah. 以英语沟通已经是喇叭后年轻一代很常见的沟通方式，就算会讲，也讲得不流利。因此遭到对手检举，认为违反选委会规定。因为根据拿巴吼规定，要当领导人，一定要会讲流利的族语。检举人认为不会讲流利的族语，还是来登记参选拿巴吼总统，就是欺骗选委会，有道德上的瑕疵，有诚信的问题。Dilan ni nasi tu nasi ni dolis, lekanan ni je Washington tu, ini tu, itu, itu, sih ini kalau tu ada hanya ni tu asal ni ke, aku tu nanti ni lah tu, ni ke kalau tu dolis, tu ibu ke harus ni tu nanti, alang je sebenar ni, dah ni, aku kau di sini tu, tu 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 apa atlet tu, dah nanti kalau bandi ke, aku tu sih ni sana. 作为一个拿巴后族人，作为曾经遭到西班牙与美国殖民者统治、同化至少三百年的民族，语言不断流失。根据统计，全国拿巴后族人中还有百分之五十的族人还会讲族语，这样的比例已经是众多不同的原住民族中讲族语比例最高的民族，但会讲族语的人数越来越少。年轻一代想要当领导人，是否一定要会讲祖语呢 ？On my behalf, I do agree that younger generation out there should learn their language as well, and I'm halfway there as well myself too. And I encourage my younger siblings, and I encourage other people, younger voters out there, to get out there and learn their language as well. So whatever is going on with Desh Chini, I do, I, I stand against it, and it is true he should have done his part by not lying to the election supervisors and the board. 这起事件被告上了拿巴后民族法院，原定二零一四年十一月就必须举行的拿巴后总统选举被迫延期。因为另外两位较资深的参选人，包括 Hank w h i t e t h o r n 还有 Dale s o u c y 在初选时共同检举这位最有机会赢得最高票的年轻候选人，违反拿巴后选委会的规定。二零一四年九月初，两人向拿巴后法院和选委会提出抗议。十月八号，选委会就做出决议撤销 Chris d e s c h i n i 的参选资格。不过遭到除名的 Deschini 相当不服，就在民族议会确认将他除名之后的第二天，在最高法院举行了这场听证会。In the entire history and universe of the Navajo Nation, so I protest and I object to your questioning. 就在这段发言的最后，这位候选人 Deschini 刻意使用拿巴吼族语结尾。Deschini 会说一点族语，但是不流利。对手的律师不甘示弱。Can you describe the Navajo Nation government? In the Navajo language, using the Navajo language, 
without inserting English languages anywhere in there. Can you describe to me how a resolution becomes law? It's a yes or no question. Can you describe to me? Mr. Chair, we deserve a substantive answer. Everybody keeps talking about our burden of proof. Mr. Deschini seems to think that he could just refuse to answer all our questions and then say we haven't met our burden of proof at the end. We deserve a substantive answer. He's asking, in English, can you, do you have the ability to say it, yes or no? Mr. Deschini knows the answer in his head to that question. He either can say it or he can't. The yes or no, he can't even say it in English. But we deserve an answer to the question. 原告律师咄咄逼人，不过这位被指控不会说流利祖语的候选人也技巧性的拒绝回答。Your Honor, with all due respect, the test he is not an expert. The test that he's applying has never been administered. With all due respect, Your Honor, it is not appropriate and it's not right. So he's administering a test. This test. Is a result of Mr. Justin Jones and Mr. Whitebourne. It is their test. The court has also stated that day we were in Tuba City. We will accept Mr. Whitebourne's standard. He is not an expert. He is a 15th place loser. So I respectfully decline to put myself in front of. The whole world to answer a test that has not been vetted, not has been approved, not has been tested, that has not been standardized, and moreover, not been applied to other elected officials. 一场纳巴后全国领导人的选举，因为候选人的祖语能力延宕了将近六个月，就在当事人不断上诉。法院多次举行听证会，一直到二零一五年，最高法院在四月二十审定，四月二十一号的纳巴侯领导人选举得以继续举行。不过，这位不会讲流利祖语的候选人确定被除名。I believe that our language is very important,、um, and and it is true that that makes us who we are as Diné people. But I also believe. That we should not discriminate against our own people, and that、um, I believe that the fundamental laws, the way it's set up at this point, is set up to where it discriminates against our younger people. 支持者愤愤不平，开始讨论到底什么才是歧视，到底什么才是公平。支持者带着失望的表情，甚至眼中泛着泪光。几度哽咽。Some Navajos and, and generations, not everybody talks Navajo in the, in the, in the language, you know, and that hurts a lot of people. And、uh, I don't think they should take that away from from anybody. I think if we can at least speak it, but now they're saying fully, fully, you have to know it 100%。There's a lot of kids out here that don't understand, don't even speak it. But they got the education. And they're up there. And then, as we send our kids away and they come home and they, they want to get a job, they don't get it. It's, it's because they can't speak the Diné language, and that's wrong. Well, I think it's a clear violation of our civil rights because the Navajo fundamental law says that we have a right to vote for any candidate of our choosing, and、uh, they're not allowing him to vote because the Say that he doesn't speak the Navajo language fluently, but how do you define fluently? You know, it's it's not. We never have had a、uh, standard Navajo fluency test by which to uh, uh, have people take. So this law was made up during the、uh, court session that the Supreme Court was holding against Mr. Deschitney. <laughs> 全世界各国的原住民族语言正在流失。目前，全美国大约有三十万名纳巴吼族人，是美国拥有最多人口的原住民族，有大约十六万九千人可以说族语，每两个人就有一个人会说族语。这个比例其实已经高过美国其他原住民族族群会说族语的比例。
。然而，面对内在的冲突，问问自己的内心：我会说祖语吗？带领我的领导人到底需不需要具备说祖语的能力呢？这样的问题，在许多原住民族人内心深处，成为当代原住民族人所面临的严肃课题。在这一次。纳瓦侯族的政府做出决定，拒绝不会讲祖语的人来当纳瓦侯族的领导人。